Today is March 20. It is the end of our first week of Lunch Doodles. Thank you for being with me all week. It's been really fun. We've gotten great responses and drawings and letters and comments from friends, old and new. I really appreciate that. All right, let's see what I can make out of this drawing. Okay, I'm gonna do this. To 20, saying thank you. And there are a lot of people to thank for this week. A lot of people at the Kennedy Center working really hard to make sure that these videos go out smoothly. And um, thank you, 20. So since it's the end of the first week, we're gonna start a new tradition. We're gonna play. We're gonna play a game. And it's a very special game. It's called Super Bounce. I invented this game and I have never played it with anyone except for my family ever. You are going to be the first people ever to play Super Bounce and we're gonna play it together. So before we do that, let's get to some of our questions. Because I love getting all these questions. They're so fun. Um, a lot of questions have come in, and uh, the people at the Kennedy Center were really nice. They put them together for me. I have not read these questions. They're always new. How long do you spend drawing each day, says Jenna in Wyoming. Well, now I spend about half an hour drawing with you every day. And a normal day, it depends. I break up my day. So, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm on the phone and I'm doing business and I'm talking to people and my editors and agents and all that stuff. And Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, when it's normal, I draw all day. It's really exciting. It is fun because I'm not alone. I'm with my drawings. And my drawings are my friends. All right. How much experience do you use in your drawings? says Amelia Five, I use all my experience in my drawings. That's a really deep question. Thank you, Amelia. What ways do you think doodling helps you express yourself? Asks Hazel, who's 11 in California. Hazel, you know, doodling is different than drawing. Drawing is with intention. And you can make a good drawing or a bad drawing maybe, you know, like I can draw the pigeon and say, that didn't look like the pigeon I wanted to, or let me redo that. But a doodle is just you going loose and letting your brain and your mind figure out what the drawing is. So there's no such thing as a wrong doodle. It is a chance to just relax and find out something about what's going on inside you. And I often like to do long, long, long doodle sessions while listening to music, to jazz music or to classical music. And maybe as time goes on, we'll do some of that because I think that's really important. A good question. Um, all right. Uh, how did you first think of Gerald and Piggy? As Elena in Santiago de Chile. Well, that's a very good question. Um, I first thought of Gerald by doodling him, by my dining room dinner doodles. And I was drawing this elephant and drawing and drawing probably for a year. And finally I realized like Gerald would make a great star for a book series. And I knew that Gerald needed a partner, so I held auditions. And I tried a muskrat and all kinds of diff different animals came in and none of them really worked. And then one day Piggy walked in the room and Piggy was just so great and so Piggy and Gerald and Piggy worked so well together that I decided to cast them. All right, that's a good question from Santiago to Chile. Um, do you know, uh, Brooklyn asks, do you know Piggy personally? No, it's a professional relationship. Thank you. How do you come up with the stories? Do you just imagine them or are they real? Yes, they're both. I grow my stories and they have to feel real to me. Any story that I write is a question that I don't yet know the answer to. Do you own a pig? No, pretty much, uh, no, I don't. I have a studio assistant, a dog named Vincent, who we might meet later on. Um, He's messy, so he's kind of a pig. Uh, okay, here we go. 
My name is Amy and I'm seven and a half. Do you have anyone in your family who helps you decide what to write about? Yes, everyone in my family helps me decide what to write about. I show my kid tricks and my wife share all my ideas and we share them, which is one of the reasons that my wife is named Cher, because we share ideas. Isn't that right? Yeah. Okay. Was there a real pigeon that inspired don't let the pigeon drive the bus. Um, no, I made up that pigeon. He showed up in the corner of one of my notebooks one day and said, and I quote, don't write about that other stuff, write about me. And I did. Um, all right, Margaret H. Four, this is our final question and probably the most important. Have you ever drawn a unicorn? Yes. All right. Those are our questions. Now, we are going to play Super Bats. Let's see if I can do this upside down. Here we go. Super Bounce TM, and TM stands for, that's Moe's, because I came up with it. All right, I need you guys to go get the biggest piece of paper that you can find, or at least something that's big, bigger than a normal piece of paper. So I'm gonna press pause, okay? I'll go get this paper, and you're gonna want also to have, with your big piece of paper, uh, you want a pen, and maybe a, let me see, a smaller pen or like that. And you want a die, all right? And if you don't have a die, you can just get a coin, all right? So pause. No, no, no. Paper and pen. Oh, okay. You got it? Okay. Play. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to play. So Super Bounce is kind of like a normal game. The fun thing is that every time you make a new board. All right, so this is gonna be where we start. Move this beautiful piece of pottery away. And this is where it ends. And then there's gonna be a little spot. Let's take a shortcut to go to the end. All right. So now I'm going to make the different spaces. All right. And we're going to come up with some pluses and some minuses. Oh, you need to move that. Okay. So here we go. This is plus one. This is plus three. And this is plus one. And then we need a couple minuses. So this is minus one. And this is minus one. And this is minus two. And this is minus two. Ooh, my two is terrible. Here we go. All right. And then some special rules where you land. So this one is um, uh, silly. Sound. 
tea is going to, that's a D, is that the tea's going to go that way? How's the tea going to go? I'm just making it a capital D. Silly sound. And this one, sorry teachers, I can't help myself. Fart. All right. So, we are going to start here and end up there. And we've got two players. One is this pigeon made out of Lego. Lego made a pigeon. They never sold them, but they made one. And the other one is this Snoopy, which I got for going to the Charles Schultz Museum, my hero, Charles Schultz. So what happens with super balance is, if I am the pigeon and I get to the same place as you, then I bounce one forward and you bounce one backward. But now that may mean that you bounce forward again, it may actually not be great. And you want to go all the way here. You can take this shortcut, but you have to be exactly, oh, let's make it, see, I'm learning. You have to be exactly on this one to get all the way to the top. And now we've got a die, which will be our numbers. And if you don't have a die, you can use a quarter, and heads will be two points, tails will be three moves forward, right? Okay, do you want to play with me? All right, um, I'll be the pigeon. No, 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 you be the pigeon, I'll be Snoopy. I'll start there. All right, you go first. Oh, I need a camera. So I'm gonna roll for you, and then you roll for me, okay? So let's see, we're playing Super Bounce, you're the pigeon. Let's go. Four, ready? One, two, three, four. Whew, you're safe. In between plus one. My turn. Come on, lucky, lucky. Five. One, two, three, four. I landed on fart. All right, now it's your turn. Ready? Here we go. That's fun. Ooh, five. That's pretty good. One, two, three, four, that was close, five. We haven't had any bounces yet. Mm. Oh, four. One, two, three, four. Super bounce! That means I bounce one forward to the minus one, and I go back there, and you bounce one back to plus three. One, two, three. And you landed on silly sound. Let's hear you make a silly sound. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch you make it. <laughs> oh, that's excellent. That is a really silly sound. Okay, you are ahead. Ooh, this is going to be tricky. Let's go. Now it's your turn, right? It's your turn. Okay, because I super bounced you. One. One. Plus one, minus two, who made this game? That's ridiculous, one, two, another silly sound. Okay, let's hear, it. Let's hear the silly sound. Oh, you can be sillier. Okay, okay, that was great. All right, my turn, my turn. That was a good silly sound. Oh, I think it's gonna be hard to get to the end here. Two, one, two, super bounce. Super bounce plus one, plus one, super bounce minus two, super bounce backwards minus one, and then another minus one, you're back here, and I landed on silly sound. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Ahooga! How was that? Was that pretty silly? Okay, all right. This can't really take forever. I don't know how much. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Congratulations, you won Super Bounce. And listen, when you make your own Super Bounce games, you can make them go as long as you want. We once did one that was all the way across the dining room table. It was 95 squares, or maybe even more, like hundreds and hundreds, and the very last one said, go back 95 squares. And yeah, whoever wrote that actually ended up having to do it.
But anyway, this is Super Bounce. Please make your own Super Bounce games and play with your family. I think it'd be really, really fun to play Super Bounce. Thank you for coming and visiting me in my studio all week. I really want to say thank you to you, to all the people at the Kennedy Center who have worked really, really hard to make this happen. And I want to thank the teachers who are really working hard to figure things out, how to best educate you guys while you guys are stuck at home. I want to thank the grown-ups. I want to thank the siblings. And, you know, if you want to do me a favor, this is the favor that you can do for me. You can go out call your local independent bookshop um, and get a picture book. Buy a picture book by an author you've never heard of or an illustrator you've never heard of. Because the people who write picture books, a lot of guys and gals, they make their livings by going to schools and visiting with you guys in person. And they're not going to be able to do that for a little while. So if you can find a way to get an author or illustrator that you've never heard of, and buy their book, that would be really special, and I would really appreciate it. Have a great weekend. I hope that you guys will play some Super Bounce this weekend. This is Mo Willem saying, thanks for coming for Lunch Doodles.